Why hello guys, my name is Eric. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a late summer desk tour. So I decided to make a late summer desk tour because obviously I have changed locations. I used to be in my laundry room, now I am further into my basement. And yes, my basement is an arcade if anyone was going to ask. My dad actually is a video game collector. If you want to see a video on the arcade, just tell me in the comment section below. Anyway though, let's get to the desk. So here is the desk, it's just a plastic fold-up desk, so nothing too special. Here is my computer, it is a MacBook Pro from 2011, a 13-inch computer. I have a Apple wireless keyboard right here, and the Magic Mouse also has have a uh, black mouse pad, I forgot what it's called. Um, here is my Hans G monitor, it is a 17-inch monitor. I kind of need to get this replaced more on the Sooner side now, because I dropped it a few times. So I'm getting like black dots here, and the screen's a little bit fuzzy, so that is really, really annoying. Uh, here is my remote for the camera I'm using right now, which is the Canon Vixia HFM40. For these kind of videos, I would like to use my Canon PowerShot Elf 110HS, but the battery kind of just died, so I decided to use the better camera. The only reason I would rather use this is it has a wider angle lens, but whatever, I'll deal with this. Uh, connected to my computer for audio, I have the Alltech Lansing Octane 7 speakers. This is the right channel and the left channel. I did do a review of that, so you can check my channel. Um, actually, I like the design of these. There's the high speakers here, and then there's a mid speaker underneath there. And, of course, I have a subwoofer, which is right there. Also, though, connected with the Alltech uh, Lansing Octane 7 speakers, I have a Logitech system. This is the Logitech Z506 speakers. This is a 5.1 speaker, but I only have, uh, I don't have all the speakers connected to this. I have the right channel right here and the left channel right here and a mid speaker, but that's not really 5.1 now. Uh, I did a review of this also. Um, they're, these both aren't the best speaker systems, but together they do sound pretty decent. Uh, moving on though, right here I have an iMac G4. Uh, it has a 2 gigahertz processor, 165 or 160 gigabytes of hard drive space, 1 gigabyte of RAM. Uh, right now it's actually running Ubuntu 13. Uh, it was running Mac OS X Tiger, but Tiger was kind of outdated, so I wanted to try updating it. And it, since I didn't have any other operating system, I just decided to throw on Ubuntu, which I'm trying to work out to see if it'll be any good on this computer. Um, so yeah, I just have an Acer computer or Acer keyboard connected to it. This is from my mom's desktop upstairs. Uh, she got a replacement, so yeah. Uh, here is my iPad fourth generation, 64 gigabytes. Love this thing. Use it every day. I originally got this for school purposes more, and I love it. I use it for school, of course, and also entertainment and videos and all that stuff. It's I love the iPad. I still think the iPad is the best tablet ever, though. I guess I shouldn't actually be saying that because I never actually owned an Android device, or at least an Android tablet. I do have an Android phone, uh, which is not down here. It's just one of those like free Android phones, so nothing really good. Anyway, though, um, this an Ubuntu disc right there. Uh, here is the uh, it's a cart of drawers. Uh, up here, they, all the drawers are random. I have a folder for banking stuff, a notebook right here, DS, DSi is in there. This is the original DS. Uh, here's an iDog. Um, go back in. I have a solar charger right here, which actually is, if I can open it, or whatever. Um, the solar charger is a piece of crap. I do not recommend it. It's not like 70 bucks on it, so I'm kind of annoyed trying to get it returned. Uh, for any Doctor Who fans, I have a Dalek right here, which lights up at the bottom. Uh, now here is a TARDIS. This is actually a nightlight, but I took out the nightlight. This would be sitting on my desk, but I don't really have much room. Oh, for more Doctor Who fans, though, I do have this, a Doctor Who character encyclopedia, so that is really cool. Um, anyway, though, moving on back to the drawers. Uh, the next drawer, uh, some wires, the IRIG HD, which I am uh, going to be reviewing very soon, so expect videos for that. A little speaker, don't know if I mentioned that, wires, unboxing knife, and whatnot. Moving on again, further down, uh, here is the iRig Mix, which I do actually want to hook up to my speaker system. We'll see about that. It is a great product for like mobile DJ and stuff, so that is awesome. By IK Multimedia, recommend it. 
uh, here is a dock for my iPod 4th generation, which actually my brother has right now because he decided to break his original iPod 4th generation. Uh, mouse, wires, power supply for computers and whatnot. I do really need to go through all those drawers because it is a big mess. Moving on though, we have my camera bag, which I'm not really going to open because I did make a camera bag video a decent amount of time ago, but nothing really has changed. Uh, going underneath my desk though, you will see my wiring mess. It's not very pretty. Though I do have a Belkin power supply right, right there, which actually is really nice because I have this remote and I can wirelessly turn off all of these outlets right here. These outlets are controlled by the remote and these two outlets right here are always on. So my computer can always be on, but when I flip this, my speakers turn off, my monitor turns off. Obviously my computers won't actually turn off. Um, that is very nice and great to save some energy. Um, I already showed you my uh, subwoofer. Uh, here is another wiring mess, if you can see that. That's actually mostly um, wires from my headset. My headset is right here. This is the Turtle Beach X12 headset. Um, this actually is the older one. I'm starting to use it a lot more because I finally figured out how to connect the uh, mic to my computer with the iMic by Griffin. Uh, not the best product, but it does get the job done. I use this mostly for a lot of like, video chats and whatnot. Uh, this is a mic stand, which right now is just holding the Turtle Beach headphones. But I will put a mic on this. Uh, I'll actually put... Where is it? Oh, I don't know where my mic... Oh, here it is. I'll actually put this mic on. This is the Rode Video Mic Pro. It actually goes to my ca uh, camera I'm using right now. But I can actually just shove it in right there. So then I'll have the mic above my uh, monitor, which does sound pretty good for videos if I want to shoot any videos, like screen capturing on my computer. So I do like that. Uh, more Doctor Who fans, I have a Cyberman right here. Resistance is futile. So that is pretty cool. Uh, so really, that is my main desk, not too much else. Uh, I do have my tripod back here. This is a Coleman 3300. This actually is my dad's tripod. I've been trying to find another one of these tripods online, but I haven't had much luck. But this really is a great tripod. Very firm, very sturdy and whatnot. I don't know how much my dad spent on it. He obviously bought it a while ago. But nonetheless, a great tripod. Uh, here is a uh, Mac, my MacBook Pro sleeve, almost a camera bag, uh, chair for in case I have anyone over. Here's my other chair. There's fold-up chairs, so nothing too good. Uh, here is my uh, power bag, which I do want to make a review of at some point. Hats, uh, glasses case, this stuff has to go upstairs. Uh, but that is my desk, nothing too much else. Um, I'm not sure how permanent or how long I'll be in the basement. Obviously, I don't have a very permanent setup. But I'm not sure how long it's going to take for the uh, uh, laundry room to be finished or to actually to start yet because it hasn't even started. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much longer I'll be down here. But for now, I'm actually I'm sort of liking the setup. I like the open space of the basement instead of the crowded laundry room. With that said, though, I do want to do a lot more things with my setup. Uh, my MacBook Pro really is not keeping up with all my performance needs for video editing and stuff. So I do need to figure out a new computer to get, which I do want to stay with Mac because right now I use Final Cut Pro X, which personally I don't want to change over to any other uh, editing software. I know Final Cut Pro X and it works great with my workflow. I love the magnetic timeline and everything, so I really don't want to change from that. But also I do want to get into PC gaming. I tried consoles, all my friends play consoles, most of my friends play consoles, and PC gaming. I've tried the consoles. I don't like using controllers, I like using a mouse, I like using a keyboard for gaming. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I really want to keep a, like a MacBook Pro or something for all my video editing, but I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think, what should I do? Should I get like, obviously money is a big problem because Macs and even some PCs are not cheap. I think what my long, long term goal would be is I want to build a nice custom built gaming PC. That will like stay here obviously and that will be all for my gaming needs. And then get like a new MacBook Pro Retina maxed out or something for all my video editing and stuff. But obviously that's going to cost a lot of money and I won't be able to get my hands on that sort of money for a while now. Even though I am I think getting a job very soon like an actual job. Um, but anyway I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm thinking that also I could get a Mac Mini. But then again I like I said I kind of want to stay mobile which then maybe I'll just keep 
my Mac Pro and I would try to use the Mac Mini, I'll have it dual boot into Windows too. I mean, I can dual boot this in thing, this Mac into Windows and play games on it, but the Mac Pro right now only has the Intel 3000 graphic card, which really doesn't play much games at all. Though by the time I would get a like Mac Mini or something, um, it would have a better graphic card. Hopefully, it would have a discrete card, but probably not. I'll probably just have the Intel integrated 5200 chip. Um, but I don't know. Just tell me in the comment section below, what do you think I should do if you're in my situation with money problems and needing a, a Mac for editing and a PC for gaming? What would you do? Tell me in the comment section below. Hoping you guys can help me out. Sorry for this kind of long video. 10 minutes. Wow. I don't think I've made a 10 minute video ever or at least not for a while. And I'm still talking and talking. I should probably go now. So anyway guys, just leave all your comments down below. Like this video. Subscribe. Share to all your friends that of course love to see my amazing setup. Cough, cough, not really. Anyway though guys, my name is Eric and I'm signing out.